If you thought we were going to talk about polishing the skin of your aluminum aircraft, I'm sorry to have misled you. We're going to talk about something more important having to do with the construction of your metal aircraft. We're going to talk about a great invention called Scotch-Brite. This was invented by the same company that brought you the 3M sticky notes. 3M. They made a thing called Scotch-Brite. It is made for cutting, dressing, polishing aluminum and similar metals. It's a very unique material. The most common form of it is used on your bench grinder. This is a Scotch-Brite wheel. It's kind of a strange material. It's very dense and yet it's kind of soft. But anyhow, nothing else will allow you to polish and rub and grind aluminum like this does. That's what it was made for. Let's do some demonstrations. Now here's a part that was cut off and of course we can see all of the teeth marks of the cut. Now if you want to do it by hand you could take a file and just work this, work it, work it, work it, but let's try a little Scotch-Brite and see what the result is. I'll do one of the sides. And there you go. It's not completely finished, but in just the 30 seconds, it got quite a polish. I could add a little more time to it. Let's compare these two parts. This is a bracket off of an engine. This one, look at the nice rounded corners at each corner, nice and rounded, as opposed to the stock square sharp corners that uh, this piece was made from. Also notice the shine compared to the stock appearance of the aluminum as we get it. The question is, is how much effort and time does it take to make parts that look like this rather than this? Let's see what our Scotch-Brite wheel can do for us to quickly improve the appearance of our aluminum parts. Okay, step one, we want to demonstrate converting a sharp corner into a round one, and this will be real-time demonstration. <laughs> Done. That's it. We're finished. Now you just repeat that for each of the four corners. Now I want to show how quick it is to shine this up. I'm going to use the Scotch-Brite pad mounted on a very inexpensive die grinder. I'm going to have to turn on the compressor for this, but this is an old used Scotch-Brite pad. At any time I can remove it and put a new one on. That's how quick they are to be replaced. And I'm going to go turn the compressor on. And that was it. Now you could spend more time and get some of the scratches out and make it even shinier. This warms up, so I just want to be careful. But you can compare the part I just did with the original side, and there's quite a difference. And my point is that literally with a few seconds and time with your parts, you can really make them look wonderful. Rounding your corners, that takes about 15, 20 seconds, and then shining it another 15, 20 seconds. And you can spend more time as you desire but it doesn't take much with Scotch-Brite, whether it's in the pad form for polishing 
or the wheel grinder for uh, more aggressive removing of material. Uh, does a very nice job for your parts. Here's a typical cutoff of an extruded aluminum angle. Note that we have all sorts of teeth marks and we have a bunch of really gnarly edge here from a bad cut. How long does it take us to polish this up and make it look nice? Now, if we just had a regular file, we could sit there and clean it up. And a lot of instructions say, just use your hand file and clean up your ends. Well, we have things to do, places to go, people to see. We don't have time for a lot of hand filing. Let me show you how quickly it is to get this cleaned up and ready for use in your aircraft. Power on. We're done. We have removed all of the teeth mark. See it there? And evened it up pretty much. We could spend more time on it, but my point is in 20 seconds compared to a long time with a hand file, you can really make this nice. You're looking at the edge of one of my projects here. We have the sheet aluminum. Uh, standing up the side of a small fuselage and if we want to deburr the edges of sheets we can do that too by using our pad and a die grinder and carefully <coughs> cleaning it up. These are other forms of the Scotch-Brite material. Notice a smaller wheel, same material as the big wheel on our bench grinder, and even a smaller one. Now these are meant to be used with a hand die grinder to be spun at very high speeds. Here's an example of one that I've used already. And this is a Scotch-Brite pad. This is also meant to be used in a die grinder so this spins very very fast and is used for polishing aluminum. Save this thought away for future use. When you have a piece of steel powder coated and you find out later that a section of the steel needs to have the powder coating removed, it's very difficult to get powder coating off of a steel object. But to the rescue Scotch-Brite. A Scotch-Brite spinning pad will give you the easiest method for removing powder coating from a specific area compared to any other method you can think of. Works really nice.